Hey, Hog Nation, welcome back to the Other Guys Sports Show here with Coach Tapia, Coach Velasquez, and Coach Castillo, right? Flores. Yes. yes. On Media Day 2024 here, man, it is rolling. Coach, we got a We're lot, fast. a lot, a lot of a information. A lot of wealth information. Uh, great talking to the athletes and the coaches. Coach, coaches, your athletes are amazing. They are, they educated me on volleyball. 101 and even a little bit more you know nice. I, I i like it um, great great group of athletes so let me tell you uh you've had your first game how are we doing you know are we on track or you like what you saw i definitely did like what we saw um we were able to win three outright yesterday we played four um four games mm -hmm. um two sets each and they they did great they, uh, we tried a couple of lineups. We made a few changes here and there, just trying things out, and uh, and they stepped up. It was good. Nice, nice. Now, <laughs> your girls, man, I'm telling you, I didn't know there were so many positions in volleyball. I thought it was just like, oh, these girls, and not everybody rotates. No. So, I guess this is a time before district. You got to find out who fits where. Correct? Exactly, and and I think the word for the season is going to be well we've already started talking about it is consistency mm -hmm. um, because we have a great group um, we've had a lot of great athletes join the program um, the we're starting s to see the pro the the, pr the production of mm -hmm. um, the club play and and how much experience they've had and right. so they're producing more in terms of what they bring to the game right so um, especially with this group of freshmen, um, I think they push the envelope a lot with our tryout, um, kind of keeping people on their toes, and and so now we're seeing, you know, the growth from that. And, and I think competition helps, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. We we've a lot of the girls have played summer ball, right? Uh, and y they played their club seasons during the spring. I want to say um, out of my eight returners, five of them play club. Um, and so it, it, it shows. It shows the extra reps, the extra time they have out on the court. Of and course. then that kind of translates into what they bring, you know, once we get them. It, it's really great. And that's interesting. You're saying that uh, you mentioned freshmen mm -hmm. in this year that playing travel ball or, you know, club ball. And that just raises the bar for everybody. Right. Because they've been playing all year long. You come in, you haven't played, it's going to show, and, you know, people are going right. to, you know, you're fighting for, for spots, and that's what it is. You know, there's only six spots that play actively on, in a game. You get your bench, but you're fighting for that spot. And right now we have so many options, like even – A uh, good problem. Yes, yes, yes. A good problem. And, and yesterday we found with the lineups, as we change them, we have two, three people who are pretty much even, mm -hmm. you know, it depends on what position they play and, and how we're going to need them, you know, in the lineup. But then, you know, they they have the opportunity of stepping up. You right. know, the position is there is theirs if they want it. And, right. and how much does it change throughout the season? You know, does it does it's it a change a lot? It is a it long, is long season. season uh -huh. I know that, you know, point A definitely doesn't look like point, you know, <laughs> Z, <laughs> right, at the end of the season, right. and that's a good thing. You know, even the growth that they show from freshman to senior year is tremendous. Mm -hmm. So um, the fact that they're that we're able to do so much in such little time is mm -hmm. wonderful. I, I think it's I, the best thing I can say is that Havelina Volleyball has evolved mm -hmm. tremendously. Um, I think um, – this is year 25 for me, and in the 25, in the 24 seasons that I've had, um, where we started is definitely no. not where we w finished last year, and that's great to see. Um, wow. We, we've been able to speed up our offense and do things that we had always practiced on doing, but the group that we had last year really, really implemented all of that, and, and we've kind of picked up there, um, even – this last week when we started Monday. Oh, wow. Um, and, and so I'm excited. I'm excited to see where we're going to take it because these girls are doing great. Wow, that's great. And now uh, co coming from the younger kids, junior high even, it's looking like you just reload. You're not rebuilding. You're reloading with these young kids because they're playing year-round. And, you know, that's an emphasis on, you know, of course, parents pushing mm -hmm. them. You know, and then a lot because I know I was a parent that, you know, played year round because I told her one day you, you don't practice, one day you don't you don't play. There's somebody else just getting, 
you know, ahead of you uh, exactly. on the game. So, and that has a lot to do with it. And not only that, it makes coaching a little bit easier, I would say, because they've been working hard all year, and it's just that easier to, you know, practices go a little bit easier and smoother and all right. that. Right. But uh, two days, talk to me. You know, is it still the grind that was before, or you're saying it's evolved? Is it different two days? <laughs> we only get a re really, we only get one week of it, uh -huh. um, and it's really hard. This season, I think, um, was the very first time we actually got through our tryout early. Mm -hmm. We were able to not have to wait until like right now. We're just waiting on adding how they did yesterday, and right. then we've got uh, we start our season on Tuesday in Carrizo. We have two matches. So we'll assess how those kids did, and then we'll give them their final points uh, on their total. Right. Uh, but this is the very first time where we've had all of that taken care of, and I think we finished uh, Thursday. So really? So it, it was easy. It was easy. A l you know, a big part was that the girls, you know, they're at a higher level. We were able to do uh, a lot more. They knew we didn't have to do so much teaching. Right. It yeah. was it it was more okay. Let's get out there and let's do this. Let's and do the work. And it, and it was good. It was good. Um, it cleared up, you know, the fuzziness of you know what do you think about this one or that one. And we still have some people who we're going to be looking at. Sure. Um, we don't we don't uh, we don't finalize uh, yeah. rosters. We we're probably going to give it another week, week and a half. Right. And then at that point, we'll decide who'll be where. So. Wow. And 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 really, they they always have an opportunity to come up, and they always have an opportunity to go down too. So it just depends on on what they want. Best player plays? Yes, wow. definitely. And that's always been yeah. something that we've always emphasized, like best player plays. Yeah, that. I, I was telling uh, earlier, I was talking to the girls that I've been watching a lot of uh, Olympic volleyball. And I think when I started watching that, they got the, the uh, yeah, I, I got into the, the whole volleyball thing. And, and it's been great from uh, beach volleyball to even regular volleyball uh, Group, um, six on six. Yeah, exactly. Men or or or, 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 or the women, right. and, and and it'd be great. Yeah, oh man, I want volleyball now. <laughs> I want volleyball to start. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, it started already, mm -hmm. and, you know, and it's a long season. You guys go all the way through what October? October? The end yeah. of October. Through well, October, and then well, playoffs are November. early November. November, November. Mm -hmm. So man, it's mm -hmm. a long season. It coach. is. It is. Wow. Yeah. So what you do in the off season? A little bit. Can you uh, can yeah, that elaborate on that? Break. That winter break, or does the any, off season start right there? Any or camps or something like that? Really and truly, we share too many athletes. We, you know, our our it's girls, school, our yeah. girls come into volleyball in August, and then they go straight. Most basketball. of them basketball, and then we've got softball players and track runners, and you know, mm -hmm. tennis and golf, and ev everybody does all of it, which is great. It's great, you know, and and we work with each other, and we try to do what's best for the girls and get them their time, you right. know, whatever sport they need, but. Um, they do a great job, but um, we really don't start our off season. Like I said, the club players play in the spring, right? So the, those tryouts are in December, and then they start their season in January. They usually play through May. Our older group played through June. Um, coaches, the area coaches, we set up a league in mm -hmm. the summer, and they play once a week. Uh, we take turns. We hosted twice here. Uh, we traveled to Dilly, we went to Del Rio, we went to Eagle Pass, played in Carrizo. Wow. And so every week, um, the girls, we have open gym time that they come in to practice at, and then they play once a week, usually Wednesdays or Thursdays. And I, and I like that, when you, uh, you, you're talking about that, because you know, kids who do that, you know they're committed. Yes. And it's so much easier to coach sometimes, because you know they want to be there, right. not like, oh, I got to go. I know. No, if they're there and they're playing year round, it's because they got a certain goal and they're committed to it. Those kids who who worked so hard all summer also had the task of coming into strength and conditioning right. every day. So we we do offer that uh, six weeks out of the summer. Uh, they come in four days a week um, mm -hmm. and and work out every day. And and really, the expectation was you need to be here strength and conditioning. Then you are allowed into open gym and allowed to play uh, on these extras. So also that's important training condition? Is definitely, it, is, is, definitely. I think the, the kids, um, the, the kids, it, you know, yeah. raises their physicality to another level. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. All these kids. Now, Coach, talking about, we were talking to the girls, too, and it's a new district this year for you guys? It is. We've got eight teams in the district. Eight teams. Eight. <laughs> We, and we open up, what day did you say, uh, Coach? September 20th September. against Natalia. It's a Friday night. So it's going to be more competitive, I would say? It'll be, well, Jordan, or bigger, bigger district? It's a bigger district. We went from six teams to eight. Okay. And uh, Jordanton is one of the tougher teams. So we, that's, we, 
We didn't see much of them last year. I was going to say, have you ever played them before? We've played them before, usually in tournaments. We're not going to see them this season at all. Until district. Uh, Right, until district comes around. Um, But, you know, regardless of who you have to play, you know, you do do what you need to do. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. If we take care of what we can do on the court, then it doesn't matter who's on the other side. And and I, like I said, I, I, like Bobby was saying, is that, um, the athletes' attitude reflects from the coaches, and their bar is set high. They're not talking about, oh, we just want to finish the season. Right. No, they are talking about district. No, they're talking about state. <laughs> exactly. Like, and I love it. Uh, uh, so far, all these, everybody's bought in. Everybody's bought in, and that's a great thing to have motivation. Exactly. You know, when, you get, when you got motivation and then skill, you got to go a long way. I'll tell you that much. One, uh, one other question I was going to ask. Uh, how important is chemistry? Kind of. Players finding that chemistry within exactly the within themselves is that I could imagine it is important. Chemistry can keep you off the court, unfortunately, um, and and again, that's something that each athlete can has full control over. Mm-hmm. You know what attitude they're going to bring in every day, how hard they're going to work, right. um, how they're going to get along with their peers. Um, all of that is something that they have full control of, and and we work on that a lot. Um, this group of girls, they do great. You know, since last year, we worked really, really good together. I, um, you know, they're friends, but they compete and they push each other. And, and that's what's great about it is that, you know, uh, they, they want to make each other better. They want to push each other. Good. And now talking about uh, these upperclassmen, 11th graders and 12th graders, how much do you depend on them to be your leaders on this? They have full control of their team. You know, this is their team. And so they're going to work. The success we find is going to be in their control. Um, they do really well. We, anytime we have um, any situations come up, mm-hmm. uh, we, you know, we communicate. We communicate. They get, an I- they get some input on, on what we are discussing or what the plan is. You, right. know, I, you know, we discuss X's and O's and, and who, you know, sure. who needs to be where. Um, but we give the girls a lot of that say too, especially our captains. Yeah. Um, they, they get to help us uh, decide what's best for the team. Right. And that's what something they were talking about was that not only on the court that you say, but off the court as well. You Definitely. know, at school, you know, mm-hmm. s- you know, grades and stuff like that. Right. They push each other like, hey, we got to do this, we got to do that. Right. It's a way of reflection off of you guys. You know, like, hey, we got to represent volleyball and not only volleyball, but. Crystal City Volleyball. They have to hold each other accountable no matter what they do, off the court and on the court. Yeah, definitely on that. And uh, that's much respect to you guys. You know, you. you're doing a great job on that sense. So, well, yeah, I'm, I'm bought in. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I was going to kind of mention is that as I see more and more in volleyball, you know, to Olympics, even to the high school level, you know, I have more appreciation, the athleticism. You know, you don't know how physical it is. Or the strategy you, of the it. The strategy. Be, when I first saw it, oh, but it's just hitting the ball back and forth. It's not a big deal. But it's more you, than that. If you think about it, even that first contact in volleyball, passing with your forearms, how many things do you do with your forearms? Uh-huh. Exactly. So that in itself, you know. It's unnatural it, in a way. It, 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 well, it, it <laughs> is something, you know, you, it's timing, you know. To have a set come from the setter uh, at different heights, at different yeah. speeds, and, you know, have the hitter have to time that and footwork and arm swing. Like, that's a lot of variables to, to make it click, and <laughs> our yeah. girls are able to do that. And not only that, I was asking these girls all these questions that I was just, you know, numbified by it. And they had the answers. They know the game. They know the game. They're like, can you use your foot? Oh, yeah, you can use your foot, chicken wing, and all this other <laughs> stuff Everything, came up. Yes. And that's amazing because they know the game. Mm-hmm. And when they know the game, it comes that much easier. Did they to tell you all about the pancake? Probably. Ra- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? About, about being able to pancake a ball? Uh, yeah, last, like last second? No. You, you put your hand out flat, and if the ball lands and pops up, you play it. Uh-huh, it's, 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 uh-huh it's exactly. Pancake, yeah. Pancake. Uh-huh. Yes. Pancake, pancakes. Wow. Yeah. We, yeah. we <laughs> kind of have to sometimes <laughs> tell the officials to look at it before the game starts because uh-huh. officials don't tend to look at it, and right. it's like, hey, like we got several girls in our team that, that can do have it. that do ability, that. Mm-hmm. so don't count them out. So it's not something they people do a lot. No. Well, it doesn't happen it's often, often. Okay. but yeah. But if you have the ability to do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. because I was watching some beach volleyball. Somebody, the ball hit it w- with her foot, yeah. and she put it in place. <laughs> and then the other one came in and and, and like killed it. 
They go, oh my God, this mm -hmm. is this is. <laughs> it wasn't at play first. Play doesn't I, stop. You play no, to the whistle. Because at first I was like, it has to be an accident. But no, it, it wasn't. It was a. It was actually an yeah. intention, and, and and they put it in play perfectly. It go to show you the caliber of athleticism that, and what they have so at let this me level. You, let, let me ask you this. So even before the ball is you know volley or it's served. You have a play already in, 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 in play? We have goals. We, you know, oh, okay, um, goals. So, so, so we have a serve receive. It depends on what happens, right? Because you don't know where the serve is going to go. Anything can happen. Well, you don't know where the serve is going to go. Right. You don't know if it's going to be uh, high short. speed, a yeah. uh, short, deep ball. You don't know if it's going to be top spin, top spin or a float. So but they got to know all this stuff before. Wow. Right. And so then, depending on where we're set up on receive, it then you know we need to wait on that pass. Is the pass a perfect pass to the to the target? Uh, did the pass go off to a certain side of the floor? And we have to adjust. So you have a goal before before the serve. Right. The setter will communicate with the hitter and say, you know, on a perfect pass, this is what we're doing. You're going on a four. Uh, middle's gonna sh you know hit a one and the. So the it's a lot right of communication. It's got to yeah. communicate. And, if, and on that perfect pass, mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, whatever, well, you also have to look at the defense. <laughs> is the blocker up? Is the blocker cheating? Uh, did they leave my middle open? I can set the middle because you want to create one-on-one -on -one situations where, mm. um, you know, our hitters will have more success in killing the ball. Wow. So, so it does. It does. You I gotta watch volleyball with, with coach here. <laughs> <laughs> so she, can, she can explain it. I mean, it sounds amazing, amazing. Oh, that's awesome. It's awesome. Right? Let, awesome. Let me ask you another question because I am a student of the game <laughs> and I'm trying to learn a uh, volleyball. I've seen and and uh, never got a clear answer. What about when hair hits the net? Is that a violation or or, or, or depends? If it is loose hair, it it is it isn't a net violation. If it's in a bun and my bun gets caught in the net, that's a net violation. Um, okay. And so it depends on if it's loose hair or not. And then sometimes it depends on, like if it's a big jersey, uh -huh. um, like sometimes a they'll allow a brush of the jersey, but as long as you're not in the net. Right. You know, like right. your whole side or hip or shoulder, you know, so it, it depends. What about when you, st if you're in the net, if you st your foot step in the opposite court, is that a violation? Um, it, there's, a se there's a center line. You can step on the net, on the line, but not be fully over the line. So let's say let's say I'm the line is here and I'm here, and when I turn back I go here, I then that's a violation. But if I'm oh. here and then can come back, we're allowed. So it just depends. It, it yeah, the and whole foot ba has to go over and under. And then if you cause interference on the other player, right? Well. Okay, right. if it trips or steps right. on your foot or whatever. Wow. Right. Man, there's a lot. So there's much a lot to look for. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and, and all that happens, and and then I'll, I'll tell them to you one of your athletes is that sometimes I don't know the hand signals of the of the ump or the ref or whatever you call them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not sure what it is, and mm -hmm. you know, okay, what's that? I don't know. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Very right, well. Right. Let's go for it, man. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well. Coach, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, man, it's very informative. I think I'm going to tag along with these guys now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, Coach, uh, let me ask you one question here. You mentioned that you know you. This is what your 25th or 26th year. This will be my 25th season. 25th season. Mm -hmm. uh, now that you played or you coached so many years, uh, it, it has volleyball the game surprise you sometimes, or come on, like oh, you know what? I haven't seen that, or or uh, I guess what I'm getting at. Uh, do, you, uh, do you still learn from the game? Always, always. Um, it's and I, and so I, and I think it, it's evolved a lot. Uh, the pace is a lot faster. Um, our kids are able to do a lot more. Uh, we're able to push them more. Um, and and just, I, I think that's, personally, I feel that that's what makes such a great coach. Mm -hmm. uh, someone who's willing to learn and, and go find answers and, and evolve too. Because I could come in with my... You know, I, my experience as a player, I was a setter. And so I only knew that part of the game. I had to learn the hitting and the blocking and the defense. You know, it, there's so much learning that goes into it that thinking that you can just go and coach with a little bit of information that you have from when you were an athlete is right. just impossible, I think. Mm. Um, and so that's what, ma that's what makes a great coach. And, and uh, you know, a lot of us, you know, all of us on staff, we, we do that. We go and we, you know, find, you know, trainings and we go to workshops and, 
uh, you know, we Google stuff and <laughs> we talk to each <laughs> other too, for sure. and, you know, online, you know, sites that help us. I mean, I was last night at, I would say, 1.30 in the morning, I was watching the uh, semifinal match for the women's mm -hmm. um, game yesterday. Um, I was watching a replay, right, because I missed the actual one. But I was Googling plays on uh, on YouTube. I was trying to see what kind of combination plays we could we could use, you know, and th and sure. that's how you learn. So yeah, always learning, bro. That's yes, good. yes, that's that's, good. that's, that's okay, the right. way to stay relevant. <laughs> yes, <Always. laughs> stay ahead of the game. Always. Yes, yeah. if you think about how the game has evolved from when we could only earn the point when you scored. Yeah, side out scoring. That's you right. Know, you uh -huh. took forever, and then they wanted to speed up the game, so that's oh, when they started. Every time. Yeah, yeah. So wow. Well, <laughs> and they are, and they are. I think there's been some changes. Even some of the officiating rules uh -huh. are going to change a bit because they want to speed up the game. They they want to keep it exciting, which is good. Nice. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, well that's true. <laughs> well, thank you very much, yeah. coaches. Uh, good luck, and man, yeah, sky the limit for you guys. It'll be a great season, and hopefully we'll be yes. there. Thank you. I do want to say that um, um, we always appreciate you guys being there. We've yes. gained a lot of fans because you guys oh. do televise. Uh, you guys broadcast our games, and, yes. I, and I hope that continues. Yes, yes. these guys um, have been no, doing no, no. great on that side. That's that you can send us our way okay. that we or like oh we we went to a tournament we got mm -hmm. her uh, tournament player of the week mm -hmm. or you, yeah anything like that so we can the, we want to emphasize more we want to shine more of a light on on these sports like cross country tennis and volleyball. Awesome. So well, uh, we do appreciate y'all. Thank you so very thank much. You, no, thank no, you. Thank you for joining us. The other guys for sure. And like I said. Man, every time I was like, are you going you gonna, to you gonna show the volleyball game? Like, uh, we're trying, you know. <laughs> we videotape games, and then we'll go home and we'll watch it. Uh, uh, when you guys broadcast, yeah. we'll watch that aspect of it because it's different. It's different, it's different from what we oh watch yeah. and then what you guys bring to it. It's it's fun. It's, it's cool. Oh, no. <laughs> we're doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody that wants to actually be an official uh other guys sports show yeah we'll set them up with phones and everything i don't know how hard it is but maybe we could set it up if uh, we needed yeah. to maybe um, we'll sign one of our student athletes yeah. that can S yeah mm -hmm. it's wherever you know and they can all they got to do is set it up bobby and them will give them all the equipment it's not it's not hard we're not doing all this it's just the camera and, yeah. and the live feed and, and yeah pretty much it and not, then, not even audio you don't have to talk mm -hmm. no it's just there the but anyway thank you very much thank coaches you, thank you. Good thank luck. You. we'll see thank you guys you. Likewise. all right we'll be right back with the other guys sports show